Hello YouTube, how's it going? Thanks for joining me on another episode. Listen, we need to have a chat, alright? Come in, come closer. Come on. Up until now, I've been enjoying doing YouTube, alright? But we've been playing, alright? We haven't been serious. This has just been a casual relationship. But look, things are about to get real, okay? I'm telling you, things are about to blow up. So I hear you ask. Danny, with your 44 subscribers, how do you think you're going to be making it worldwide now? What's going to be different from before to today? Fuck it, the glasses are coming off. Right, so today I've got something new to show you. Right, I've got something which I've wanted for a long time. And I think the reason that I haven't had as much success as I wanted is because I haven't had this tool. Yeah, this key to success. Jesus, I really am laying this on thick. What I'm going to do today is unbox something for you. You ready to see it? Let's do this. Yeah, boy. So we've got the new Gorillapod SLR Zoom in grey. As you probably know, if you follow YouTube, if you watch YouTube, if you are a YouTuber yourself, this is basically the tripod, the octopod, the bendy thing that people use. And I'm going to unbox this here for you right now. Here we go. I'm quite nervous. So, packaging, just grey. Nothing too, uh, it's actually brown, not grey. Nothing too exciting. First impressions, it kind of look kind of rude, if I'm honest. I mean, if someone came at you with that, you know, I'd, I'd bend over. I think, you know, this guy's wanting some fun. Poor lady. Lady for me. <clears throat> I'd say, you know, I could probably get it to about that. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's my first impression. That's quite rude. Yeah, that does feel real strong. It feels real kind of rigid, you know? It's sort of, I feel that maybe I can attach that to anything. Something I'm a bit disappointed with is it hasn't got a clip to clip on the top. So the one I'm using now, it's got a little screw and then if I want to take the camera off, I just click it and it unclicks. Whereas this is kind of, you just screw it on and that's it. Bit annoying. You can tell it's 10 times better than the one that I have been using. The one I've been using is about 20 quid. But that does bring me to the price of these things. Now, this was 50 quid and that was second hand. I don't mind admitting, all right? I went on eBay and I got a second hand because I couldn't afford a new one. For 50 quid, I was thinking, that must be the kind of one. That, you know, you always see the vloggers when they have them and they're kind of maybe about that much bigger. They're probably, if I use the other camera, probably about that much bigger. I don't know if that's gonna be big enough. So anyway, I was thinking, for 50 quid, that's got to be that size, you know, the one that's bigger. But it's not. It's this one. So, I mean, for a new one of these, you're still looking, what, 70 quid? Which, for something that big, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's see how it feels with a camera on. Just notice it's got the big thread on it as well. Let's take that off. So this is my first camera that I use. Yeah, okay, I can, I think I can work with that. That kind of feels okay. I don't know, the only thing I don't like is it is quite big and I like to have a bit of a curve on the bottom so that when I'm holding it, it's kind of facing me, but you know, apparently these are, these are the ones to go for. I mean, it's doing this job. I don't really know what else to say. It kind of, it holds my camera. I had to get a new one because my other one actually broke, so that's the reason that I got this one. It does feel quite big. I mean, I'm, I don't know, a relatively big guy, I suppose. Well, I've got small hands though. And that's, like, I can't quite get my whole hand around it, can't quite get my whole fist around it. And trust me, holding anything else like that, the thing that I'm usually holding, if you get what I'm saying, is a lot smaller. All right, so that does feel quite big. I was, I was talking about my penis. That's what, that's what I was talking about. Uh, it's obviously a lot smaller than that. And yeah, that's, that's quite big. That's quite a fistful of, of gear we got right there. So I mean, my overall impression, I suppose, is yeah, it's good. It definitely feels better than my other one. Is it worth like 70 quid? Like that's quite a lot of money for that. I mean, that's that new is about 70 quid. And it is just plastic. It's not like metal or anything too special, but at least I'll look like I know what I'm doing now because um, I'll be walking around with this and that's kind of what everyone uses. So just a quick little video then. Unboxing my new Gorilla Pod by Joby. 
uh, kind of telling you what I think about it. Obviously, I haven't used it yet, so maybe I'll update you once I've been using it for a couple of months. First impressions, yeah, it's cool, but that is expensive. What can I say? So this has been just a real quick video. I've kind of got a new setup going on that I just wanted to try out. So, so far, so good. I think it's probably working okay. Take a look at my other videos. I've got quite a few, I've got a vlog going. I'm probably gonna review some more stuff as well. It's very hard to review this. Like, it holds the camera. You can put it around stuff. You guys know what this is. You know, this is, this is, this is a new technology. But I was just particularly excited about getting it, so I thought I'd check in with you guys. It does look dodgy, doesn't it? No, I'm not being funny. We've got some things like that upstairs. In the drawer. We haven't. We haven't really. Or have we? So if you could do me a favour, click subscribe, click like, comment. Uh, I don't know. If there's anyone who wants to do any collaborations, or wants me to review anything, because I'm a barber, I do do barber and stuff, and if you want to say me anything, I can review it. But until then, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking in, guys.